Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, Tylo here found that last pesky urn. And after bringing uh, Dwayne Lynn her own and Hythe's remains, Did you see an apple fall down? Yeah, after bringing Dwayne Lynn uh, the urns, she rewarded us with uh, her own personal combat armor. Which is so well made, it's uh, still better than the uh, soldier's outfit. Or the guard outfit. A thousand years later. Even lets me sprint! So let's see, I take this stool. And then I apparently put it down next to Faustus himself. Or near Faustus, anyway. Shout out to Halloween9, who left a comment on one of my American McGee's Alice videos, consisting entirely of a uh, thumbs up emoji. Ah, right. Dag nabbit. I can't see a damn thing in that mask. Uh. Uh, don't mind me, boss. I'll just be up here. Uh, I'm not actually sure what I'm looking for here. You sure I didn't get it, friends? Oh! Plague Doctor hat! I thought this was a Plague Doctor hat, but, uh... A headwear of a Plague Doctor. Okay. Uh, he's not wearing a hat. Oh, okay. It's funny that it doesn't have any description at all. Hmm.
That helmet is very clearly shaped for the contours of a rat's head. I hope Tylo is comfortable under there. Hmm. Well then, I guess I'd better head to the uh, head back to the goddamn shore. Hey, check me out. Are you blind? Also, it's Sergeant now. Take it easy, Rolo. You know, if they've had the ex the people, the uh, the smugglers executed within the weep, the weep, the week. And, uh, they sure did a good job of finding uh, guards that look exactly like them to replace them. Uh, they don't really look like bees, do they? Look more like grasshoppers. Which is weird. You know, I've just realized they couldn't have dropped uh, Hythe's last urn down onto that cliff because it would have broken. Oh, oh god. Uh, then it was over here. In the same comment, uh, where he pointed me in the right direction for the... I assume it's a he, because it's a... Because of the character. But, uh, Nintendo Fan Link also informed me that... Uh... Apparently, in order to find, uh, Carol's hidden stash, here on the shores, I need the Brissants. Since I didn't actually find that last time, I feel like that's a priority. I don't know what it is with these flimsy boards, but uh, looking at them, I almost want to just push on them until they fall through. Now let's just body check them and go straight through with them. Kids, do not do this. Burning Dog Face is not a, uh, a role model. <laughs> what in the hell? Alright, that direction. I was delighted to watch another YouTube video the other day where the guy referred to, like, sort of glitching up a cliff as, I'll just climb this uh, cliff like a Skyrim horse. So I'm not the only person who immediately thinks of Skyrim every time they do that. Was it meant to be foreshadowing that Uma Rezia was secretly evil, that she kept visiting Carol in the, uh... in the cells? Or was that even real? 
It is Carol what we're talking about. It is entirely possible he completely imagined that. You could have sworn the giant pile of Brissens was right around here. Damn, too late for 5 a.m. I was wondering if that was the problem last time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, it's just a banner. Or a shield, I see. I saw the bright orange, and I thought that's what I was looking for. Well, there are textures in a section of ground, after all. Am I an idiot? Ah, here we go. Now, first things first. Let's do something stupid. Ah. Uh. Oh, nothing happened. Okay. So I guess I need to figure out where the shadow falls, put one of the brissences there, and, uh... Well, could be here. Mind you, there are skeletons everywhere. I was told it was near two bodies. Although, let's face it, I had to be on the right track, given that, uh... You know, I was following the shadow and all that. Oh, man. Alright, fine. feels a shame to go back to, you know, not being covered in gold. I mean, let's see the ranger today. Still no mask. I meant to look up if that was a glitch, too, but I, uh, kind of forgot. Okay, I'll allow it. I should have checked exactly where the Brissens is on the map. Felt very pleased with myself when I found the Brissens. Then I had a sort of blank moment, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I only can use this during a specific time of day." Uh, that's better. Ah, there it is. Fuck it. If I fuck it up, I'll, uh... Just come back and sleep for 23 hours, I guess. Or, like, 22. If this doesn't work, I'll, uh... Give it some extra time. Excuse me. Boy, the garrison really does not give a shit about all these bodies, huh? And me, I'd like to think that if I washed ashore, someone would give me a proper burial.
Why is there Brissons out here anyway? I don't want to know what it is that uh, Carol saw on Periclave that made him apparently lose his mind. I don't like that implication at all, that he's like, that he's the way he is because of Periclave. But, uh... Okay. I think this circle bit is the uh, crow's nest. Or maybe it's up there. No, no, that's the tree shadow. This is the one I was looking for. This isn't near two bodies at all. Oh, am I a fool? Oh. I'm gonna try this. Because it seemed like the shadow was falling there. Uh, I don't like this at all. You know what? I'm just going to set that down right there and hope the explosion radius is big enough. Oh, rad. Uh, what did it do? Oh, fuck! I accidentally put it exactly where it needed to be. Wow! I was aiming for these rocks over here. Shot. Yeah. Why? The, ki the cook pulls the kitchen knife from her apron and wipes the blade across her sleeve. I do like how different the faces are before and after you find out who she is. Why did you think it was, uh, Faustus?
How do you know that part? Well, you poisoned me. The cook takes an emerald from the pirate's treasure chest. Uh... She screams, her eyes sinking into their orbits as fur and flesh unravel from crumbling bone. In an instant, Uma Rezia is gone. To an awful dirge, more felt than heard, the crystal begins to pulse to the sickly green light. And then... Oh! Oh, hell no! Oh no! Why am I on fire? Uh... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale, when we, uh, deal with what Umarezia has unleashed here! Later!